So I've been using Sony XM4 uh, headset unit for a few weeks traveling around with it and I have actually managed to see some flaws that might be quite useful for those who are seriously considering to buy one, uh, especially if you're based in UK. At the moment you could get up to 43% discount which is a fantastic offer that you can get. So to start with, um, if you have a head shape as wide as me, just like Astro Boy, um, you are likely to have a bit of a pain on the top. I don't know what it is, it's probably because the headphone, when it's actually stretched it out to more than the standard size, maybe the pressure uh, applies to the top of your head. So more than about our use, you start to get that pain, but that actually applies for any of the headphones that I've been using anyway. So probably that's just my own unique problem. But if you happen to have a wide jaw and face like myself, you are likely to have that same experience. Second of all is that if you actually take off your glasses and then put it back in, again, the sponge itself will actually prevent it to happen. So it's a bit of a nuisance that because the, the glass actually tends to, you know, constantly you know, scroll down. So that's why I need that regular um, exercise to do it. So please be aware that that's gonna be a bit of a disadvantage there. Uh, when it comes to actual physical control by pressing front or the back, top, bottom, you know, for volume up and down and next track and previous track, I actually find it surprisingly very unuseful. Um, maybe I have to train myself, but I tried to do that several times and probably after three or four attempts, I finally managed to get the next track on or to get the volume up and down. I, I'm fairly disappointed with that. Maybe you could actually change the sensitivity there. I can't see that on the app, but that's the mainly the physical side of the downfall of the uh, Sony XM4. When it comes to the ambient sound control i actually wore these uh this headset when i was under the underground um train station and i think the because the sony was trying to come up with a, such a clever device um i was hearing more of a beep um like every tr every track it was probably like a five or six time of beep because of the underground chain it stops and it moves stops and move every station every one minute you would imagine every track is about what three or four minutes so you would you would experience this beep of an adjustment of the sound um of this like um what is it called the excited bright or ambient sound control and so on so it sort of becomes like your um part of your music which is really annoying and um, I didn't see that coming actually obviously you got an option to cancel the um, the ambient sound um, ambient sound control system which is um, good but if you're trying to do something I think Sony needs to understand that they could have come up with a better uh, solution here but it's I think it's good to know that such uh, capability the technology is available now when it comes to speak um, the music actually stops when you speak it's a bit annoying because you want to freely talk to someone while you're using your headphones but once you start talking I know the music stop it's quite clever but in fact uh, the minimum time is 15 seconds that that 15 seconds tends to take forever for music to come back on. I wish Sony could also update the system where the music could come back in few seconds time. I'm sure they could readjust that, but the shortest, it, shortest time is 15 seconds and that is a, a bit annoying actually. Um, over the ear itself um, and then speak to chat is, is quite clever, I like that. Um, but I mean, just overall experience, I just want to express is this. Um, I remember my father-in-law, he drove one of the best Hyundai or Hyundai uh, car. And then later on, he bought the Mercedes S-Class. And he said that Mercedes S-Class is way better because of the engine. And what he means by that is because Hyundai has so many different functions like gadgets, especially when you come to buy a, a higher spec like automatic readjust to the line and etc but in fact if it's a car it should be focusing on the actual bits that's very important which is to drive and um, what, what is implying that is that Mercedes seems to have less of a gadget but it's a better drive and I think that's a very good example to um, you know express my desire with the Sony XM4 the sound is brilliant 
And Sony is expressing their um, joy of this, like, look at this sort of technology is available. Look at that sort of technology is available. I actually find it um, a bit annoying, actually, especially the most difficult, the most um, upsetting side was when I was actually on underground listening to music. It was that beep of constant readjusting. And then it dares to change the sound system as well. I'm actually trying to stick with the excited mode, but it automatically changes to other sound because it's trying to help me. But in fact, it's not really helping me at all. So I'm actually deciding to not uh, turn on the automatic ambient sound control and the speak you know the music stops when you speak and etc so uh, those are the things i do want to let you guys know it will be a wow factor when you actually buy it but i reckon for the long term of use you just want to have a good sounding noise cancelling headphone you don't want all those gimmicks that it's it's not perfect i would say personally i'm sorry sony but uh, there are, still needs to be a lot of improvement on that side. But in the end, I think headphones should be only focusing on listening to the music. I don't think it's such a big problem that you actually lift up your headset and then you talk and then put it back on. That's much better than like you wait for 15 seconds for music to come back on. I really find that uh, connected to uh, two devices simultaneously is really useful because again, I use my smartphone and my computer regularly at the same time. So I'm actually blown away with a lot of uh, different functions. But in the end, you got an option to turn these functions off. But if, you, if Sony wanted to uh, let us know that such technology, amazing technology is available. I wish they could actually improve that side. And I'm sure with some frequent updates, uh, it will be much better headset to use. So I hope this video actually helped you to understand more about the Sony XM4. I don't think there's anyone who have actually expressed this side. And I just want to be honest on the stuff, on the things that we, most people consider to be a brilliant device. So I hope this video will be very helpful before you actually finally buy the XM4. If you have any uh, queries that you want to find out more about this device, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.